In this class, we will try to solve a problem on a transmission line. Let us understand the problem first. It is being given that there is a transmission line terminated in two branches each of length lambda by 4 which you can see here itself. There are two branches which is terminated which is terminated with a load impedance ZL equal to 50 ohm which is given that the two branches terminated by a load impedance of 50 ohm. The length of the two branches is lambda by 4, the length here itself is also lambda by 4 and here itself it is also lambda by 4. And they have been said it is a lossless transmission line, right? So they have already mentioned it is a lossless transmission line. Now we have to find the input impedance seen by the source. So basically I have to find the impedance seen from this side. So as the question itself is saying that we have to find the input impedance looking at this point. So my first point will be what I am going to do is in order to solve the problem is I am going to find one input impedance seen here let me call as Z A and the input impedance seen here let me call as Z B. So I am going to find the input impedance here I am going to find the input impedance here right. So what would be Z A? Now if I look here Z A at this point what is the length of the transmission line? It is lambda by 4, right? So we know that we have already seen in the previous videos if the length of the transmission line is lambda by 4, what would be the input impedance? We already know that it is Z0 square by ZL. If you are not able to follow with this equation, you can refer the previous videos. So it is Z0 square by ZL. What is the Z0 here? Z0 comes out to be 100 here. It, so it is 100 square divided by ZL. How much is the load? Load is 50. So if I solve this, I will get 200 ohms. Same way, I can find ZB. ZB is nothing but the impedance which you can look at here. Again, the length of this is also lambda by 4. So my ZB will be, again, same way, Z0 square by ZL, right? Here again Z0 is 100, ZL is 50. So again it is the same way, 100 square by 50, this comes out to be again 200 ohm. Right? So I got ZA here and ZB here. Now how ZA and ZB are connected? Can I say that this looks another, if I send some current, the current will divide here and current will get divided here, right? So it means the current is getting divided. So current, when the current will get divided? When circuits are in parallel right it means za and zb are in parallel so if i try to find it out the equivalent of za and zb it will be what so i'll say z let me call as an equivalent load it will be nothing but za parallel with zb which comes out to be 200 parallel with 200 this comes out to be 100 ohm right so at this point, I will get a new load, right? So let me draw that. So that will be looking like this. This is what we have to find it out, Zi, right? This is what is Z0, right? So Z0 is 50 in this case. And this is what we have find it out, which is we said it is Z equivalent L. So This is Z equivalent L, which value is? 100 right now so so what would be and what is the length we know that this length is also lambda by 4 so this length is also lambda by 4 right so what would be the so what would be the input impedance again the length is lambda by 4 so the input impedance will be z0 square by zl so the zi which is nothing but input impedance will be again z0 square by Z L or which is nothing but Z equivalent L, right? So this comes out to be what is Z naught? 50 square divided by Z equivalent L is nothing but 100, right? So this is my input impedance. If I solve this, I will get 25 ohm. So we got the answer or nothing but the impedance seen at this point which comes out to be 25 ohm, right? We will see more how to solve the numerical and transmission line in the next videos. Thank you.